fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today is going to be kind of a work video. Um, I have slowly been working on updating my storage um, and you've seen a couple of videos on this before. I am still in the process of putting away my art dot spares and I actually thought that I had three boxes completed and then I went to go grab the next set of spares to start putting away and realized, oops, I don't have this box completed. So I am currently setting with five boxes in process. I have two boxes completely done up to whatever number comes before 739. Is that 738 or some other weird number? Um, I think it's 738. So, um, and I have de-kitted all, most of my Diana for this, because I think I have Diana kitted, de-kitted up to like 928. So I think all of Diana has been de-kitted into this one. And if you haven't seen that video, it'll be out shortly. So what I want to do is catch this box up and finish putting away all of my art dot spares. Um, so I can get this box called done and completed. So I'm just going to jump right in because I want to get this done. I've got them laying all of these colors laying in the floor of my office and boy, howdy, I do not need them to be. So I want to get them done. Also, I kind of, I pulled them all out. The reason they're on the floor of my office is that I pulled them all out because I needed to get to certain colors so that I could finish my sugar skull for um, drills and chills, which I have done. So um, if you haven't seen the finish of that, I'll link to that up there. But um, I wanted to get that one finished and of course the drills were kind of all over the place and so I was trying to get all of this done and do these as I went along and I just poured squares into the rounds oh my god you guys okay that's what I get for talking so I'm gonna set this aside because now I've got to clean that out and I will do that in a minute and now I will pay more attention because ugh. See, I've been de-kitting Diana, so I've got rounds on the brain, and what I need to be doing is squares, so yikes. Okay, so as I was saying, before I realized I wasn't paying attention, can you tell it's been a week? I was just at the doctor today, and the nurse told me that it's been a week of Mondays, and I was like, man, I can relate, because... I mean, I don't think it'll be Monday when you guys see this. It's not Monday when I'm filming it, but who knows? YouTube is weird. Um, anywho, um, I pulled these all out because I wanted to finish the sugar skull, which I did. But I was running out of time to finish it before the end of October, and so I wanted to get that done. And so I pulled them all out and just kind of strung them all out in my office floor, my craft room floor so that I could get the sugar skull finished. And now they're still laying there because, you know, time is weird and I just never seem to have enough hours in the day to get everything done that I need to. So I did make some progress um, on several projects, my personal projects. My husband had his surgery and everything came out good. So that's a load off of our mind. Now I just have to wait until I get the bill to see how much money we owe all of the medical people. So that's always fun. But, um, so got that done. Um, I went back for a recheck on my knee and everything is not great, but better. So I'm basically going to finish up my PT and hopefully by then everything will be back to normal. So that will be nice. Um, I filled out the government FAFSA form for my son 
so that he can get his financial aid for next semester, next year. And so that was a load off. It's not that it takes a long time or anything. It's just nerve wracking because you feel like if you make a mistake, you know, there's no way to fix it, which isn't true because I'm sure people make mistakes on it all the time. But, and I do the thing where I tell it to just go out to the IRS and fill in all of my information from my tax return so I don't have to go grab anything. But even at that, it seems like there's always something I forget about that I've got to go back and find figures and numbers for and whatnot. So, I mean, I pay someone else to do my taxes for a reason because they're so needlessly complicated. So... And sadly, we'll probably remain that way because with our, you know, planned move to Canada, um, my husband is a dual citizen. So in Canada, if you don't live and work in Canada, like if he moved here and lived and worked here as a Canadian, you don't have to file anything in Canada. They don't care because you're not a drain on any of their systems because you're not there. Here... In the good old U.S. of A., if you live somewhere else and work somewhere else, as a U.S. citizen, you still have to file tax returns in the U.S. and may or may not owe taxes. Um, they give you credit because, of course, if we lived and worked in Canada, we'd be paying taxes in Canada. And they give you a credit for that, you know, anything that you may have paid in Canada, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be mean that you don't owe anything in America. I mean, everyone always complains about how much taxes are in Canada. And, you know, the, the percentage does seem pretty steep. But in talking with my husband, there's lots of things that we pay for here that we wouldn't need to up there. Um, property tax works a bit differently and is not as expensive for things like cars um, and that kind of stuff. Property tax for housing works a bit differently. Their whole system up there for property is a bit different, I think. Um, we, at one point, when we were looking for some stuff, he's like, well, we need to get a lawyer. And I was like, why do we need a lawyer? Well, I guess up there, lawyers serve kind of the same purpose that real estate agents do here. Or I guess not real estate agents, because they still use real estate agents. I guess the the lawyers up there are more equivalent to what a title company would do here. So it's just all, you know, it's different and getting used to how somebody else does that kind of stuff. And it's been, he's been here so long that I forget, you know, when he first moved here, you know, just simple things that you don't really think about, like getting a driver's license. And, you know, once you get to be an adult, you've kind of figured out how to do all of that stuff. And then you move to another country and you kind of have to learn the whole system and some of that is hard for him because you know obviously our healthcare system is completely different um the driving stuff turned out to not be a big deal but um he has a cdl license that he has to have for work and so some of that was kind of interesting trying to get everything that he needed for work done and everything but we did it so um and I've had people tell us that we need to hire a lawyer to fill out all the paperwork if we want to move up there. But honestly, when he moved here, we did all the paperwork ourselves and it was fine. We figured it all out. So I'm assuming we'll be able to do the same once we fill out all the paperwork and get started on it to move up there. Quite a bit of that color, don't I? And I can already see this middle section is getting more full than I would like it. This one, I actually have some room and I'm done with those. So I might grab one or two of these and move them back here. So I've got some room. Maybe just that one is all I want to do. So I'm going to end up doing some shuffling again, which is not a surprise, but just means I need to pull some out of the back of this last row. Make sure I grab all everything. Whoops. And what is that down on the bottom? 924. Okay, so that one fell down. So 
Am I missing? No, no, that's the only one I'm missing. Okay. Okay, so I set those off to the side. Move this one back so I can grab a couple from the back here and give myself a little bit of room. You guys, it is blowing a gale here today. I don't know why it's so windy. I got up this morning and went to the doctor and then I came home and there's a giant branch laying in our yard, which I'm glad it, it didn't fall. My kids park their cars over where by our trees are. We have a kind of a second driveway and they park on that side of the yard. And we've had our trees trimmed just this summer. And he was supposed to, you know, get any branches that were kind of sickly looking and whatnot. And either they've gotten sickly really quick or he missed some because this is a pretty big branch. Okay, I've got a lot of 823 squares as well. So let's see if I can fit these in here. Some of these numbers like 833 or 823, 939, 3371. I know I'm going to have quite a few drills already. Oh, they fit in there pretty nicely. You can see it's kind of getting to be pretty full. But again, that's why I like these kind of heavier bags because that's all the room it's going to take up in, instead of all the other bags, they fall to the bottom and they just don't sit in here as nicely. Plus, that was the point of buying all of these drills was that I was going to be able to, you know, have spares. So, I just can't believe that I thought this box was done and then I went to go put it away and I was like, oh, uh, nope. It isn't done, so let me let me take care of that really quickly. Oh, that's 825, not 824. These are starting to fall down in here. So let's see if I can get these to sit up a little bit better. I think I need to move a couple of these back in. And I'm probably going to have to pull some more out of the back of this, but that's okay. So 825 and 826. So, yeah, you know, I ordered this and it came in such a small kind of box that I thought, oh, that won't be too bad. And then, you know, it's all packaged in there so nice and neat and compact. And then you start pulling things out to put things away and you're like, whoa, this is going to take up way more room than I thought. So... Get that. Get 826. Where's the square? Whoops. Where's 826? I've only got three bags of 826. Where'd the other one go? Did I lose it in here somewhere? Pull these out. Four bags of 824. Four bags of 825. Only three bags of 826, four bags of 827. So where did my 826 bag go? Oh my goodness, everything is sticking to me today. 824, this is round. A, B. Get that where it belongs. That's all 823. Did it fall down in here somewhere? Pull these back out. Is there, nope, it looks like it's laying in the bottom there. So that's, there it is. Some of the issue too with moving all of these around is that sometimes things kind of, especially if it's an empty bag, which this one isn't, that's why it fell down. So, okay, so I need square and round A, B, and then I'm gonna put this in the square bag because I'm paying attention this time. Ugh, can't believe I did that. I mean, sadly I can, but oh, man. Okay, so there's all my 826. And these are going to go in the bottom there. And then my 827. I need the square bag. And then we'll see if I need to move any of this around for that third row. Or if it's got, I've got enough give in here after I put this one in there. Okay. 
Okay, so there's 827. So now let me kind of push it all around. Do I have enough give in there? No, I don't. I don't like that. So I'm going to take some more out of the back of that row and put them aside so I can move them into the next box. And then take a couple of these. And I'm probably going to end up moving some more again from the third row into the next box. But for now, we'll call it good. Okay, that looks like a nice amount of play for me. I'm happy with that. Okay. Okay, so there's that. So now, let me, I've done 826, 827, and I'm ready for 828. Okay, let me get these in order here. Finish cutting these because this will be one one whole sleeve of the art dot, and then I will I'll see where I'm at. Put all these in the trash. So messy. Okay. There's that. Okay, I'm ready for 828. Eight. So push that out of the way a bit. So I can open these. Okay. Whoops. Come on. You can just see me spilling these everywhere. I did that the other day. I have some of these that I'd already opened for the sugar skull so that I could finish the sugar skull. I just put these little clips on them to kind of keep them closed until I could get to them in this process. And I was moving them out of the way because I was filming some stuff and they're sitting here on my filming table. So I picked it up and because there's carpet in here, I didn't notice until I got it over my trash can and my computer that it was spilling. So I had drills all over the floor and on my computer. The ones in the trash can, I just called that a loss because I wasn't going to go digging through my trash to try and find it. But yeah, playing pickup on all the ones that spilled on the floor was not fun. On the upside, at least it wasn't these brown and green ones because that's kind of the color. My carpet is like a tan color, but it's got like variegated colors in it. It was a blue that spilled. So at least they were easy to see. So that was good because yeah, trying to pick up some of these darker colors would probably have been a nightmare. And I probably would have just like, you know what? I'm just going to vacuum them up and call it a loss because that's kind of crazy. So Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I had somebody request if I could zoom out my camera when I was doing these so that you guys could kind of see a little bit more. Um, I have since gotten a new phone that I'm using to film with and it has a much better camera and it has a wider angle lens than my old one. So hopefully you guys are seeing a little bit more. Um, and I do have the capability to zoom out even more. So when I'm doing big canvases, I'll be able to do that. But still saving up for my actual camera that I want and just making do with what I have for now. You know, that's what they tell you to do. It's okay to want things, but just kind of start where you are with what you have. And that's what I'm doing. I have these cameras, phone cameras to film with. So that's what I'm doing. So, and this is going to be interesting because this is kind of, kind of be a busy film day for me. I don't normally film a whole bunch of videos all at once. Um, I mean, I could, but I just usually don't, but I have so many projects on the go right now that I kind of have to, I feel like I'm filming all the time because some of them, are you going to get out of there? Some of them 
are going to take me a while, so I kind of have to piecemeal film it. So I'm trying to do a little bit as I go, even though the videos won't come out for a while, which is fine, but that just means I feel like I'm filming all the time, which is unusual. And with my husband's surgery, he's going to be home for two weeks, which I told him today I thought was hilarious because he's like, oh, you're going to be ready to kill me. And I'm like, you're the one who's going to be crazy. He hasn't even been home for a whole day yet, and he's already stir crazy. So he did get to take a shower today, so that made him feel better because he couldn't shower yesterday after the surgery. So... He feels better after he had a chance to do that, but it's still, you know, before the surgery, he was telling me, oh, I'll be up and around and, you know, in a couple days I'll be back to normal. And it was like, mm, you say that, but I don't think that's going to be true. And after yesterday and today, he's like, yeah, he was not expecting it to be as painful as it was. Which, you know, I mean, who does? Nobody anticipates, like, yeah, this is going to be painful, but you know what I mean. Okay, this is the last color for this sleeve. And it looks like I spilled some over here, but I don't know exactly what color that is now. So I'm not going to worry about two escaped drills. So, okay. All right, so that's the last of that sleeve. Let me get all this thrown away and out of my way. Oops, I thought I picked up a drill, but where did it go? No, I don't see it. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to pull some more out of this sleeve because it's getting too full. So let me just do that while I'm thinking about it because I've still got more drills to put in here and it already has more, less play in it than I want. So that's about where I want it to stay. And I've still got some more drills to put away. So let me see. I've just got this small sleeve because I cut one of the other colors. So I'm going to I think I'm going to just finish up this section of this sleeve and then we'll see. I don't, I still don't think that's going to get me to the end of this row, but it might get me close. So we'll see. 844. I already have some of these, although these colors are matching pretty well from what I have, at least from what I've noticed. I haven't noticed any of them being glaringly different dye lots. So of course when it's these darker colors that's probably not as easy to notice anyway. But okay there's 844. Oh I missed 842. Whoops. Okay. I got those out of order, didn't I? That's the hard part sometimes. I didn't cut that deep enough. Okay. So far, other than pouring round into square, I don't think I've made a mistake pouring the wrong drills into the wrong bag. Or at least the wrong color, you know what I mean? Okay. Did I already do... Where's 869? Behind 869, the square bag, because that's what I need. Okay, there's that. Okay. 869, that goes back in there, I'm going to need 890, K 
can't believe I thought I had this box already done and then I get in here and I'm like, what? I love these pink colors. They're so bright and happy. Okay, so $8.91. Wow, the wind just quick kicked up. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but dang. I'm really glad we got our trees trimmed because I would be worried about it if we hadn't. We had several, we have kind of a back, back part of our lot that fronts an alley, which we don't use because our garage isn't on that side, but a lot of our neighbors do. And we have a bunch of trees back there and whew, I would have been afraid some of those were going to fall somewhere important if we hadn't got them all trimmed, which that didn't stop the one from falling in the front yard. So hopefully that won't be that big of a deal. Okay, so let me see. Definitely still have some play in here, but I think I'm going to pull a couple more of these out of the back to put them over here. And let's see, I got to $8.94. Let me see, because I just have this little, this little section in the back. So let me grab those numbers and see where I get to. Okay, so here's the end of this sleeve. So $8.94, $8.95. Let me get through the 800s. Okay, that was the last 800. And then I think I'm only going to get a few of the 900s in here before I have to pull them out again. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and cut them just because, well, I'll stop there and we'll see where I get. So 894, where's 894? Okay. Cut that one open, move that out of the way so I can get this back where I'm in frame for you guys. Okay, eight ninety four, then eight ninety five, so when you guys keep track of yours, do you like keep track of the name of the DMC color? I don't. There are certain ones that you know you use a lot, so you know, oh, you know, three ten is black and six 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 is my favorite red and whatever, but for a lot of these colors, I don't have any idea what color it is. I don't keep a chart. I literally just keep them by DMC number. Now I do have a DMC chart that I can refer to that would tell me the color if I wanted to know that I don't like put them on my bag or anything. Is that something people feel is necessary? I know some people do, but like, do you ever go searching by the color and not the number? Like I'm trying to imagine in what circumstance I would go searching by the color name and not the number. And I'm having a hard time thinking of a scenario where I would be like, oh, I need to match it by color. Other than if I was like de-kitting a kit that doesn't have DMC codes. But for me, for the most part, that happens so rarely that if the kit doesn't have the DMC codes, I just don't de-kit the drills. I just add them to my stash, my trash. And then at some point I'll figure out something to do with my trash drills. Actually what my plan is right now for my trash drills is I wanna wait until I have a decent amount of color in it. Like right now my trash is pretty bland. It's a lot of cream and black mostly and gray are the, the main colors of it. So I'm trying to wait until I get some more colors in it. And then once I get some more colors in it, I want to like fill up like a lamp base or something, you know, and do something like that with it. But it's just not a color that I don't have enough colors in it or even enough drills in the trash yet to do that. So, okay, 904. Wonder if I could, 
I mean, they're trash drills because they're not very good drills. So I can't say that I would use them for a like a diamond painting project because they're in the trash because they're not very good drills. So I don't know, maybe I could do some like, like you do sand art where you layer it, do some diamond art type stuff. And just, you know, have it be something pretty that sits on a shelf. But mine just isn't that pretty right now. That's part of the reason I haven't done anything like that because I just don't feel like it's that pretty. Okay, I feel like that's getting too full. So I'm going to pull those out and see where I'm at. Okay, oops, let me get rid of all this trash again. Okay, so... Basically, I've got these. This one is probably still a little bit more full than I would want it, but I'm going to call that good. So now I've got my third box completed. I do have um, some drills left over, but now I can move on to the next box. So the last thing I've got to do is I will sit down and sort out my squares and rounds that I mixed in together because I'm a Dean bat, but I'm not going to do that on camera because you guys don't need to see me fix that mistake. So there you go. There's another um, spare storage kit down um, where I'm kitting down, putting away all of my art dot squares that I bought. Uh, if you're interested, I will put a link in the description below to those art dots so that if you want to pick some up for yourself as spares, you can do that so that you can kind of do what I've been doing if you want them for extra projects. Again, I'm doing this because at some point I'm hoping to do a couple of heaven and earth design projects with it. That's why I keep my spares. And also if I run into things like my special cat or my sugar skull where I need drills on hand to finish things, sometimes entire projects, sometimes not. But that's it for me today, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to do all the things on your way out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you liked it, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.